Welcome back to Black Cat Crypto Club. What a past few days it has been. Just nothing but absolute blood in the charts, guys. But I wanted to hop, hop on today uh, because I want to I want to show you guys some things that'll that'll give you guys some hope. Um, I'm not gonna lie. Yesterday it did get to me. Um, usually I'm not too affected by the price action of Bitcoin, but I think yesterday I was just a little irritated by the fireworks already. And getting into the charts, I was just, um, I did say a few, a few swear words. I did say some swears. So <laughs> I let it get to me, guys. But uh, the interesting thing was as I hopped on X or Twitter against my better judgment, because usually when when things are not looking so good and you get on social media, it just feeds into that. However, I got on X and I saw some really positive posts. So um, I just wanted to hop on and give you guys some some insight into what is happening, some news and a look at the charts. So we're going to get into all of that, guys. You're going to love this video. But before we do that, as always, guys, we are helping out Flipside Sanctuary this month. So if you guys have a couple dollars, if you guys can help out these needy animals over at Flipside, it is always appreciated on my end. Now, if you go to their page, which is flipsidesanctuary.org, and I do always leave that link in my descriptions of my videos, go over to their, their page and right on their front page, you can see donate now. You can hit that button. It'll take you over. You can either uh, donate with PayPal or you can use a debit or credit card. So that is nice. You can also go over up to the donate tab at the top of the page. You've got that same donate now button but they do also have Venmo, they've got a Patreon, and they also have an Amazon and a Chewy wish list. So you can send them what they need directly. Um, but yeah, this is a uh, 501c, so it is tax deductible, guys. So it also helps you guys out. Honestly, these guys are a small sanctuary. All of the sanctuaries that I bring you guys and I showcase on my channel are smaller sanctuaries. These guys aren't the bigger like corporate sanctuaries that just get thousands and thousands of dollars all the time. These guys really could use your help and it doesn't take a lot, guys. You know, five dollars would be absolutely amazing. So go over. Help these guys out, throw them a few bucks. And as always, it is very much appreciated on my end as well. Okay, so let's get into it. Um, as, as I was saying, I was watching the charts. I was already on edge because of the fireworks. Um, do not love those things. Uh, but I was watching the charts and... I, I came to realize that the, the biggest thing that gets me in these, these dips is that I don't have, I'm already completely invested and I have no income. So I, I am not able to buy the dip at this point and that makes it all the worse. Uh, but at no point did I consider selling. So that's the thing is I just hate seeing the price action, you know, go down just like everybody else. Um, but I wish it almost makes me want to go out and get a job at McDonald's just so I can buy some cheap Bitcoin right now, because these are, these are some good prices. Um, but let's look at the charts. Um, you can jump over here and look at these charts. So 
we did drop down all the way into like 53,000 last night. Um, but guys, this you zoom out and we are still trending sideways. We did go lower than we have in a while at, you know, once we were down to that 53, it was looking like we had given back all of the gains that we uh, that we got since the ETFs, which this is the day that the ETFs went live right here. So we had a little bit to go, but, uh, you know, just discouraging to see us climb all the way on those ETFs and then give up, give back so much. But the the big thing here, guys, is and I've stressed this on the channel during these bull runs, we often see 30 percent, several 30 percent corrections. And I I got to measuring, guys, and this correction, even going down to 53, where we hit, hit yesterday, that is still only a 27 percent decline. So still completely normal you know we could even drop further and it would be completely normal in a bull run so i can't stress that enough i was also doing some other calculations i want to show you guys a few things that have happened in the past during bull runs so this was this last this last halving in 2020 we shot up to like 64,000 and then we had China ban mining. And we saw this mid bull run correction right here before we bounced all the way back up and hit into all time highs at 69, 70,000. But this correction, this mid bull correction right here was a let's see where did we go down to this was a 55 percent mid bull correction this last cycle so could we go down 50 plus percent right now and have it completely normal and shoot back up beyond everybody's belief yeah we could um i'm hoping that maybe the the local bottom is in we have seen a bit of a a correction and and um you know a bounce to the upside this morning and i am hoping that that was the worst of it last night um but you know looking looking back at things that have happened during bull cycles in the past you can plainly see that that there are times when even 30 percent is outdone during a bull market before we shoot up again and i i usually don't go this far back guys but we're gonna go back to 2013 i'm gonna i've really got to zoom in on this because it's so small on this logarithmic um table but as you can see we had the having right here and we traded sideways for about uh before we really started kind of taking off we we maybe right there that was about three and a half maybe four months of sideways after the having until we started to really shoot up but guys this was a case of a very big mid bull run correction because as you can see we shot up huge here corrected but that was not the end of the bull run you know if people were screaming like they are now oh the bull runs over right here they would have missed the biggest portion of the bull um but i would just want to jump uh zoom right back in and show you guys what correction what kind of correction this one actually was we 
dropped 80% mid bull. <laughs> 80% and that wasn't even the bear market. That wasn't even the bear year. We just dropped that mid bull cycle and then we continued on clear up. I can't even zoom out far enough. Clear up to end this cycle clear up here. Now, like I said, I don't usually go back that far because that was so early that um, you know, we're not gonna see I this <laughs> you zoom out to what we we've done lately, and this just looks like a complete flat line. But guys, this bull run right to here was five thousand over five thousand percent increase over five thousand percent gains there now like i said this was so early we will not see a five thousand percent gain this cycle it just won't happen with the market size market cap size that we've got now um it's just not really going to be in the cards but it does show you that we have had huge, huge corrections. This is why they say uh, Bitcoin is volatile, because we have had these huge 50 to 80 percent mid bull corrections. Now, usually we're just looking at like these these smaller 30 percent corrections like you can see right about here. This was. Yeah about a 30% correction mid bull before we shot up there. And as I've shown you right now, we have just corrected 27% from our top uh, pre-having post ETF pre-having to what we went down to last night is about 27%. So completely normal. Keep your heads on your shoulders. We are not out of this bull run at all guys now i do want to let's let's get into the economic indicators that came out today we had unemployment that came out today which did tick higher than forecasted and previous so this shows that the job the labor market is continuing to soften Despite what uh, Chair Powell says, the economy is not is is starting to decline. So he is going to have to eat those potatoes at some point. But we also had non-farm payroll come out. So this is job numbers, and we did see an increase. Well, we saw a better jobs numbers than what was forecasted. We did see a decline from last month's job numbers. But guys, if you think about this, just think about this for a quick second. How do you have unemployment going up and yet you have more jobs? How is that even possible? <laughs> well, let me tell you, and this is where people don't dig in enough to the numbers to find out what they really mean. Because if we're having a better jobs numbers than what's forecasted, but we also have a higher in, uh, unemployment, what that means is people are giving up full-time jobs for part-time jobs. Because in these numbers, part-time and full-time are given the same weight. So again, when you see full-time jobs declining, and part-time jobs increasing, that is not a sign of a good economy. That is a sign of a weakening economy. Again, despite what Chair Powell says, things are not looking good. Now, why this is important is because if we are seeing the economy weaken, that is a signal that the Fed can start easing and lowering rates and effectively printing more money, which is good for Bitcoin. It's not great for the dollar, but it is good for Bitcoin. So, um, speaks for itself, I guess. 
Um, now, one last thing with the charts, as you can see right here, this is the stochastic RSI. Um, and on the daily, it's still going downward, but we usually look at this, uh, this indicator on the weekly. So let me just jump over to the weekly. And as you can see right here, let me just make this a bit bigger. We are bottoming out and we are in that oversold area. So this could change really quick. You can kind of see that blue line is starting to turn and, and could easily jump up over that, that orange line, which is technically when the blue crosses above the orange, that is a bullish sign. So we are looking forward to, to getting that cross soon, I think. Uh, but let me just jump back over to the daily and we're going to look at the RSI now. Uh, so that's this bottom indicator. And as you can see, I, I did say in a previous video, when once we drop below this, this bottom dotted line, we are in oversold territory. Now we did correct quickly back up into uh, normal trading range in the RSI this uh, last week or so, but we have in the last few days, we have again fallen into that oversold territory. So this is generally an indicator that shows you that it is a good time to be buying Bitcoin. So I don't know, guys, like I said, we could drop further, but a lot of the indicators are just showing that we are primed to resume the bull market any time now. So uh, again, just makes me wish that I had uh, some kind of income. I need to go apply it at uh, McDonald's or maybe just sell my soul, buy some Bitcoin. Wasn't using it. <laughs> Roll the clip. <laughs> We've got to see that clip. And here we go. Woo! Hot damn, son. I believe you did sell your soul to the devil. <laughs> I did sell my soul to the devil. Okay. So in other news i want to jump over to x really quick because there is another chart that wrecked capital did and let me turn off this chart let's just look at this so in 2016 these uh blue lines that he has marked are the halving dates okay so 2016 we had 74 weeks before we hit this all-time high Okay. In 2020, we had 78 weeks before we hit the all time high. And then we turned down into that bearish year. Guys, we are only 11 weeks post having. So for some of those, some of those of you that are thinking that the bear market has begun, I just don't see it. I don't see that being the case. We have a long ways to go before this bull market is over. You know, we have till this, this chart is saying September 15th, uh, 2024 is about when those 70, 74 to 78 bars are going to come into place. So next September. 2015. Did I say 2014? 2015. So we still have over a year, almost a year and a half to go in this bull market. Now, if you look at the blue circles, this is what we've been doing. Okay. So we did come up and since the halving and before the halving, we have just been trading sideways and we are just this minuscule little circle right here. Uh, you can't even see my cursor right here. We are this tiny circle. We've just been trading in this range right now, but look at previous cycles, guys, the same circle where we, we were 
last cycle we traded sideways for six months and then we exploded and in 2016 we actually dipped way harder than we have this time post having and then you know months after the having we did this so just goes to show yes things are uh depressing when you're watching the charts all the time when you're checking your portfolio balance uh you know and like i said i just got irritated last night with the with the fireworks and i was not immune to getting you know losing my head a little bit last night so um don't blame you if you were in that camp as well um but in other news guys we do have a rumor i guess this isn't news this is a rumor um that blackrock will be applying for a solana etf by the end of july so i'm not sure how credible this is but cryptos or us is a decent source for some information sometimes so we can always hope, I guess. Um, and uh, like I said in a previous video, this would be the the thing to happen for Solana ETFs or for Solana and in general. If BlackRock files an iShares Solana ETF, we will see a major move on that. So another good piece of news. Now, guys, what is happening with Bitcoin, why are we seeing such blood in the charts the last few days? Well, yesterday we had a few things. Um, a few things that were just the same things I've been talking about for the past few videos, at least. We had Mt. Gox that moved a bunch of money to a new wallet. And we do know that they are expected to disperse that Bitcoin to the people that they owe this Bitcoin to. So that has been some downward pressure on the market, but they didn't sell. All they did was move a bunch of Bitcoin yesterday. And like, I've, like I always say, guys, the market is kind of a delicate butterfly. When, when big Bitcoin moves, it scares the market. So we did have that yesterday. And then we had one other thing. We had the German government, which I've been talking about as well. They sold some more Bitcoin straight on the uh, exchange market. Instead of over the counter, they, they are just dumping on the market. So we do have that as well. Um, you know, they don't have the 4th of July in Germany. <laughs> I mean, they don't they don't celebrate it. So they they were. It seems like they were trying to crash Bitcoin on the 4th of July and they did a decent job at it. So, again, guys, these are two things that we've been talking about for a while. Nothing really new is going on, um, but I did not bring this up. But let me just show you another thing that people have been talking about. Um, so Justin Sun is the, um, founder of Tron and I'm going to just jump over to this that I, I just searched for and found really quick. So, uh, Tron founder, Justin Sun has offered to buy all 2.3 billion worth of Bitcoin from the German government. Uh, and he he's offered to do this to supposedly save us from this big crash that the government, the, the German government is causing by dumping straight onto the the open market instead of doing so. Uh, you know, over the counter or even just just holding that Bitcoin. But, uh, you know, you can't expect governments to just be smart and know what they have so you know justin sun has made this offer now i am pretty skeptical i think this is just kind of a 
a marketing move for him. He is a billionaire, but I'm not I'm not convinced that he has 2.3 billion of liquidity to actually do this. I think this is more talk than actual uh, uh, than an actual offer, but who knows it could it could be an actual offer uh but it doesn't seem that the german government cares they they're just dumping it so um but yeah i mean i don't i don't see justin sun having having 2.3 billion of liquidity he is a bit billionaire but he's all he's all uh tied up in in crypto and stocks and bonds he's not liquid John, <laughs> he's not liquid. Ah, uh, I gotta roll that clip now. He may be the richest man in the world, but he doesn't have any money. It's all tied up in stocks. I'm not liquid, John. It's not liquid. I'm not liquid. <laughs> what does that mean? Okay. Uh... Anyways, had to do that, guys. If you haven't seen Stealing Harvard, great movie. You, sh you absolute sh absolutely should see that one. Uh, Jason Lee and Tom Green at his absolute best. But, guys, that is about it with the news. I do have one thing that I do want to bring up with, with you guys that I haven't talked with um, or talked on the channel about for a while. but. I did do a an episode on my phone service. I am with I've been with Helium, which is a decentralized crypto uh, cell phone carrier, right? And I've been with them since January. And since the initial monthly uh, $20 is what it costs for unlimited a month of unlimited cell service with Helium. Um, since that initial month where I paid the $20, I have not paid for cell phone service this entire year. And in fact, on top of that, I've actually earned rewards from this service and the mapping rewards from Helium that I've cashed out. I've actually used it to buy more Solana. Um, but you can cash it out to USDC or or cash it out completely to US dollars. But guys, there is no reason not to use this service. If you're not in a contract, I highly, highly recommend getting into Helium. Um, you know, it it is they've partnered with T-Mobile, which is the largest mobile network in in the North American area. And so anytime you're not on the Helium network, you default to T-Mobile's network, which is perfect because I don't think there's a lot of people around here running Helium hotspots. And so I'm on T-Mobile's network technically. Um, quite a bit out here in the middle of nowhere in Idaho. So I get great service. I haven't noticed any service um, interruptions at all um, from being on this. I haven't noticed any difference than, than when I was on AT AT&T. And it's completely way, I mean, not only is it cheaper, but it's actually paying me at this point. So I highly recommend you guys look into this. Uh, their, their website is hellohelium.com, uh, um, I believe. Um, but I also do have a reference or, or a referral code in all of my videos. If you guys do sign up for that, use my referral code, and I believe it gets you a free month of service. So with that first month being completely free, if you use my uh, code, I believe that's what you get. Uh, don't quote me on that, but that just makes it completely free. If you, if you turn on your mobile rewards and then you can end up paying your cell phone bill, that monthly $20 bill with your rewards, 
I mean, you can't beat it, guys. And one thing I did notice this last week, they're doing an airdrop and they've got some story with a golden goose and, uh, you know, yada, yada. And every every hour they're dropping 5000 helium mobile tokens is what and that's what you get when you're rewarded for your mapping. Um, but I have received two golden goose airdrops this week one was uh two days ago and one was like a week ago and so i've got ten thousand mobile tokens airdropped to me for absolutely nothing other than i use this service um which is going to pay for you know my next month's bill already on top of being rewarded every day for just merely driving i think it's something like a mile so you drive to and from work you easily get rewarded every day uh but like i said guys go over and check it out it's worth checking out if you're not in a um in a contract with your current provider go over and check these guys out um the one thing uh, a lot of people think is that you have to have a special phone for this, like the Solana phone. You you really don't. Any new modern phone, this is the this is like a three or four year old um, Samsung. But all you really need is a phone that has eSIM capabilities, which most phones in the last three or four years have that capability. So guys, go over there. Um, if you do sign up, like I said, use my referral code. It's M-X-E-N-X-76. And you will find that again in the description of the video. It helps me out a little bit if you guys do that, but it also gives you guys, uh, you know, a freebie on, on that service too. So use, use my referral codes, guys. And, uh, you know, like I said, guys, the past few days have been hard, but hopefully I've given you guys some insight into what we're actually doing. And it is it is absolutely normal. Absolutely normal during bull markets to be doing exactly what we're doing right now. So keep your heads on your shoulders and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.